Hi, this is Scott with iSpot Supply. Today we're going to go over the TinyCam Wi-Fi camera app and how to configure it to your camera so you can view live from anywhere in the world. All right, first thing you're going to want to do is uh, turn your camera on. To do that, on this model, this is our uh, it's a small uh, alarm clock camera. You take the back cover off on this model, it'll all be a little different. Um, turn the on and off button on to turn the camera on. And I've already got the SD card in, and you'll want to put an SD card in because that's where uh, the, the video is recorded to. It goes in right, that slot right there. Okay, so the next thing you want to do is you're going to want to go to the uh, Wi-Fi settings on your phone. I'll pull that up now. And you want to find the camera on your uh, available networks. Uh, this one, you can find the camera number on the bottom on your QR code sticker. Uh, the last four TYXEY. So we'll find that and we'll connect to it. Okay, well, that's connecting. Uh, when it connects, it's going to say connected without internet. That's exactly what you want. We're connecting to the camera directly with no internet. Wait for that to happen. Connected without internet. Okay, we're done with that. And let's go back. Now we're going to go to the TinyCam app, which you should already have downloaded onto your phone. And we'll open that up. And when it opens, you're going to see it has a, a window pop up that says add, search one device, one new device, want to add, click OK. Now once we get to this screen, uh, we're going to click on the wrench icon in the bottom right hand corner so we can configure the Wi-Fi. First you go to where it says Wi-Fi config and click on that. And it should, yeah, there's pulled up my Wi-Fi on there, which is my 2G uh, Wi-Fi. I have 2G and 5G. If you have 5G, it almost always has a 2G uh, stream also. So you want to pick, you want to pick that one. It won't work with 5G. We're going to put the password in for that network. Uh, so it's going to be your password for your uh, network. Click confirm. It could take a minute because uh, it's it's configuring everything uh, between the camera and your Wi-Fi network. It says set success, so we're good to go on that. Okay, so the next thing you're going to want to do is set your date and timestamp. Uh, so you go to other config, and then time set. And then the easiest way to do this is just hit synchronize phone time. You see at the bottom it says synchronization time success. So now the camera time uh, for your date and timestamp is set to your phone, same time as your phone, and so is the time on, the, on this model itself because it's an actual clock. All right, now we're going to back out of that screen. Next. Uh, device name. You can pick a name or you can actually manually input a name that you want. I'm going to pick living room for this one and hit OK. It says set success. OK. Password. If you want to change your password, that's where you do it. Share. So this is what this is. You pull this up. You got a QR code. It'll say someone else you have in your family. You want to be able to view your cameras. Uh, you would just have them download the app. They would then scan this QR code with their phone and they had all your camera information. They'd be able to view it live. Back out of that. Next thing you want to set up how your SD card is going to record. So you hit micro SD card setting. It starts with audio switch on, and what that means is it's going to record audio. Some states do not allow for it, or it depends where you're at. If you want to turn the audio recording off, just click on that, and now it won't record audio. All right now it's set up for full-time recording. As you can see, that's checked. If you want uh, to use uh, motion-activated recording, hit alarm recording, and now it's going to run off your motion activation. I'll show you how to adjust that now. Back out of that. Go to alarm config. In motion right now is set up on medium basically. If I click on that, you can. If you click close, that means it's not going to work at all. The motion detection. If you hit high or H I G, it says on this, but it's high. That means it's going to be very sensitive, so it'll take very little motion to set it off. If you go to the minimum, it'll uh, take a lot more motion to set it off. I'm going to leave it on mid. And I'm going to hit confirm. Okay, and we're set up on that. Okay, so now we're going to back out of this. We're going to go back uh, to the live camera view if you're uh, watching it live and click on the play icon on the image. And as you can see, now we're live. At the very top, you're going to see uh, 1080p, 720p, and 640p. Um, you can change that if it's a little laggy because you have a bad ne um, you know, Wi Fi network or uh, slow um, cellular service. Uh, you could change that to a lower. Um, Resolution and it should help that lag. Uh, I'm going to keep it on 1080p for now. 
if you turn the if you turn your phone sideways on most phones, it will show you a full screen. Um, if you don't have that feature on your phone, you can go ahead and click on this box right here, and it's going to turn it to a big screen. Okay. Also, you'll see on the left-hand side, you're going to see what looks like a camera icon. If you click on that, it takes a snapshot uh, and saves it right on your phone. Next to that, you'll see a, a video camera icon. If you click on that, it's re now recording, and it's recording that onto my phone. Um, since you have your SD card set to record, it will also be recorded on your SD card, though. We'll stop that. Next to that, you look like a speaker that's crossed out. I'm not hearing any audio coming through the, phone, through the camera right now, but you can turn that speaker on. And now I'm hearing it. Let's see if you can hear it. Um, now we can turn that off. This camera comes with two-way audio. Uh, what that means is I can talk through my phone and there's a speaker on the camera, so anybody around the camera would be able to hear me speak. And to do that, you have to take the microphone icon and hold it. Test, test, test. Test, test, test. Now, if you want to view a uh, video that's recorded onto your SD card, it's real simple to do. On the bottom left-hand side, you're going to see a micro SD card icon. If you click on that, and these are all the uh, files that are saved to the micro SD card. If you click on one, you got a pop-up window that says cancel, download, or play. I'm just going to play it. You could also download it to your phone. Hit play. And that's video there uh, that was just recorded a few seconds ago. Now let's back all the way out of this. If you want to see uh, files that were on your phone uh, that you've recorded directly to your phone, in the top left hand, you'll see a, what looks like a folder icon. Click on that. And these are all files that I uh, have uh, recorded directly to my phone. Click on that. So it's hit download, share, or, chair, or check. I'm going to check it so I can view it. Click on the icon. Click on that. Click on that. Recording. Recording that onto there you go. Okay. Yep. I think that just about covers it. As usual, if you have any questions at all, feel free to reach out to us. We're always happy to help.